I walled there, there goes more ICOs, and Ringo was able to do massive amount of damage, Circles the gauntlet, but they were all able to block it, unfortunately. Now Aura's gauntlet was due to a waste now. Here comes a couple players, a couple more Spitfires able to contact, and there goes a couple more ice pillars right onto that crow right there, able to do some damage, but nothing to kill. There goes more Spitfires able to contact onto that line there. Lance is forced to run back home uh, due to his low amount of health, and looks like Minotaurs are looking for the right perfect moment to engage. But there they go, there goes the Impale, there goes the Vanguard, but the Dipping Wall was not able to stun anybody, unfortunately. Because another Crystal Sentry from, from the bottom there, looks like Nemesis is in a bad position because of that Ringo. They really do need that Ringo for that carry, Indiana. It's key has to be careful how they engage. Team Minotaur has to be careful how they engage because of the Rhyme. The Rhyme will, will stop them in their track, but at the same time, Team East will have to be careful how they engage because that scarf can engulf them in his flames and do really good crystal damage to them. As you have to watch with Lance's, Lance's stuns and boots, they have to be careful how they engage. The both teams have to be careful how they engage, when to engage, how to engage. They have to be careful and get that out before they do anything else. Alright, here it comes out now. Looks like Aria Ringo's up into the lane. There goes the Spitfires, able to oh. contact into the Arden. But they're actually just going to entirely ignore the Ringo because they don't have the crow there. There goes the Vanguard right onto that Ringo. A couple more Spitfires actually come out. And there goes the Impale right onto the Rhyme. Rhyme gets pushed right into the wall, able to get stunned. But there goes a couple Ice Pillars right on, able to be rooted for that Lance. Lance is forced out to use his Crown of Renewal and Crucible to get them alive. But now Lance trying to hold his rest up to keep alive. And no, he will not be able to stay in his life. Ringo is able to take him down with the kill. Teams have died down a little I'm bit. currently experiencing lag right team now, team so uh, I will be. Looks like Nemesis is actually trying to take up Kraken here. Minotaur has not realized the opportunity yet, and yes, they will. They will be able to take Kraken. Look at there. Clegg is actually trying to taunt them a little bit. Crew and Scarf are actually up there, but here comes. Rhyme was George's range with a crow right there. The crow was able to land a attack slow, attack slow, and an Atlas has been landed to the crow. More damage has been sustained onto the scarf. There goes up the O, oh, there goes the sun, and scarf goes down. Crow is in a bad position right now in a 1v3 situation. There goes the reflex spot for not able to do anything, and no, he will not. He will not be able to do anything, unfortunately. And all that time is a waste. Looks like Nemesis so, is actually planning to push ahead. So this game, this. It honestly might be game. If they can keep pushing, keep in those turns really, really fast, this, this might be game. If, if, at this point, the team, the two team, team esports favorite, it, that run was just way too much for them to deal with, and then post quarter team fights, that was, that was team in terms of that, that, that fall, and now that might be game. Yes, it does look like game, and Nemesis is able to take the lead in a 1v0 lead in this series. Will they be able to take up the next win also? Let's see if finds out what happens into the next healthy unfold match. Oh man, uh, uh, I, honestly, that was an extremely good match from both teams. But that Ryan was, I say, the most crucial pick for that match was Ryan. He was able, he was able to contain the cruel and the and the Lance with his roots. He was just, he was just unstoppable in most of the team, but he could not be contempt stop because of those roots. So that was a really good win by Team Esports. Like Nemesis Esports is able to take the one lead now, and we're on our way to the second match. I'm gonna take this time to say thanks to you guys for the follows. Um, I think Kua followed, Lapexi followed, Blaganator followed. Hi, huh, yes, I'm alive. I'm here. Um, most of the time, I just kind of let them talk since they're so into like the casting, and I don't know. They seem to be having a lot of fun with that, right, guys? Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. All right, cool. So we're going to go into this next match in a second. Let me see if I can switch everybody correctly. And GG. Oh, I got biddies, I think. Or something happened. <laughs> Cold killer, thank you for the biddies. <laughs> Thanks, you're awesome. Um, okay, water break. Um, I think they deserve it. You're yeah, good. that no was a way. really, really close day. I got me sweating. It was a really, really good test. I saw just, just believe it was a break, break, but it's far time to make it too long of a break. Yeah. So, Hyper, what do you think that Minotaurs need to do in order to win the next match? They, they, they need to pick their heroes carefully and correctly, whether it be to counter them or to have a good synergy. 
it depends. If they it can counter them, would be great. But having a really good team synergy would be extremely well in the team fights. That that last fight, the cool in the Lance, really really was their downfall against the ring. If they didn't have ring, I would go for a team mentor. But the picks of the Lance and the Ryan, they could not do anything against that Ryan. He is a really good counter against close quarter, close close quarter enemies. He counters them really hard. So that in that fight. They, they need to make sure they pick more carefully from here on out to they have really good synergy from here on out. Because that, yes. that'll be their, that would be the, one of the keys to win the next match. Okay, looks yes, like we I can start. Can listen to that. All right, on our way to the second <laughs> match now. Looks what like is this hype bot that you made, Cold Killer? <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. Exclamation point hype. Ah, crap, like, I don't know how to spell. Looks like Team <laughs> Mentor is now has decided to ban Idris. And looks like Nemesis Hype, Nemesis Esports has decided to ban the Catherine. Let's see who the first pick of the match will be. It looks like it's planning to be an Arden. And will it be an Arden? Yes, it will be an Arden, of course. Minotaurs realize how strong Nemesis are with the Ardens. So they decided steal their pick. Looks like how will Nemesis respond to their Arden pick? Will they be able to go another captain they very, very forceful at? Or will they just try to pull up something of their sleeves? It comes out of Black Feather and Black Feather, yes, a Black Feather does get picked unfortunately. Or fortunately I should say. Because due to this comp right here, a Black Feather and against an Arden right through there. Black Feather can just Sees right through that gauntlet without a reflex off, without a crucible. All he needs is just time for his ult. Late packs right there at the bottom, seeing what he wants to pick for Nemesis. And he picks a flicker, surprisingly. The flicker does do invisibility, or he gives invisibility to the rest of his team, but at the same time, he is very fragile as a captain. What will he do to sustain all the health and damage that Minotaur will most likely be doing to him? Cornux is planning to pick up now a hero. And who will he choose? He will choose a Vox. And Vox is a very good respondent into this team fight. Because although Arden can have his gauntlet up, he will be able to silence them while they're in a gauntlet. Because there's a bigger chance for a silence to the whole team. Now, let's see who the last hero will be for Team Minotaurs. Planning on looks like an alpha. And will they be able to pick the alpha? Alpha does very much weapon power damage, and yes, she does. They do pick up the alpha in the end. Now, this cop right here, alpha is self destruction, plus the Arden's gauntlet and the Vox's silence could be a very devastating comp, but that, all of that requires all of their ults to be used. There it goes up. A rhyme once again for Nemesis. Nemesis East Force pull out another rhyme, but it looks like that. Minotaurs actually have two melee heroes. I don't think this is probably gonna work, unfortunately. But what do you think, Hyper? How do you think this match will end up? This is gonna be pretty interesting. We have an all melee comp with a Alpha Arden and a Vox. All melee comps aren't bad, but depending on the hero pick. In this case, I would say uh, they can get away with it. All melee comp, but we will see what happens. And as the match starts, we'll as the match starts, we'll see what happens. In team fight, the flicker's gonna be a they can counter flicker pretty easy with his mines, but if the flicker can outmine them, they'll be good. And as they run out the gates, the flicker buys a contract in a dragon blood, I, I, iron guard and dragon blood with flares with a vision, which is good to keep vision into their do their advantage. So if I'm looking for they're going to go lane jungle in the lane, or are they gonna go for the tree? That's a good question. Or are they gonna go for the early invade? Interesting pick. They're going for the early invade. The box is by himself in the lane. Flicker with the stealth. Oh, they might well be going to engage. Oh, the uh, line with the ice pillars. Put the little potential in there. Flicker staying out of the way. It being stealthy. Staying out of the way. So far, it's just they were going to early invade, but I thought they were going to invade, but I guess not. They kind of backed off. Now they're going to jungle, and now they're going to shoot out to their farm. Looks like Minotaurs. Oh, oh, they're going to the alpha with the slow. They're going out the alpha, alpha up, then Arden with the Vanguard saves, saves Alpha's life, but then back for the rotating down, going for the alpha, going for the, oh, going for the uh, melee attacks. They're chasing out the alpha really hard. They're trying to get, they want that kill really badly. They want that first blood so bad. They keep chasing and chasing. They will not stop chasing. But then that leaves their, they leave their 
they're turned wide open for the killing. But the but the, then they got the first blood team. Team Esports got the first blood as as Black Phillip will take back up to protect their turn. Yeah, that fight right there could be really turned around if Alpha did. Oh, the, oh, and the Arden rotated down into the flicker slow as they attacked the Arden with, oh, on the ice pillar. Arden gets to get away. They need to be careful. They, uh, so then that's a backup now. This the team fights are that's a little slow. They're back to farming and doing what they have to do. Up, uh, Arden goes in with, with his blood, blood for blood and he's fingering himself to escape once again. Yeah, that's a good review on that last team fight right there. That team fight could have been turned around very hugely, but they couldn't see if he had the Oh, so fuck it with the flow. Back for the engage. Oh, then good damage. Good damage on, on the on the Vox. Oh, but no, Arden gets the kill, and they go away with the double kill. The engagement did not work as well as I thought it would. They engaged. They had the advantage, but then the damage kept coming and coming, and then they lost that fight, and, and then they team. Team Minotaur get got two kills out of that engagement that they didn't even start. They really had misplaced themselves for that engagement, unfortunately. And that cost them that one team fight. Right with Poke in the flare to see where they are. Flicker going in. Right now, staying, staying, staying. Blue passes, trying to stay invisible, just to keep track of where they're going. With another engagement, I don't believe so. Box is going home. Alpha's going to probably stay up there and guard the turn. No, she's not. She's going to go back to and farm some more. Which is interesting. Oh, no, never mind. She should go back to the guard the turn. So far, no team engagements. Uh, Flicker keeping his visibility up and high, keeping him staying out of sight. Then the Arden taking the tree in, which is interesting. You think Alpha will be there to help him take it. But he takes it by himself. He takes his experience and the health. Up, oh, five back going in on the back further. Back further, stay behind though. Be passive. Up, oh, on the on point lands. Flicker like going in with the slow. Back further going in for, for the kill. They up, oh, they engage and they get the kill on the box. Oh, and the Arden with blood, blood, blood on Flicker, but it does not do much. But he backs away. That engagement right there was a very bad time for that box. He ended up being on the wrong side at the wrong time. Oh, it's like it was his beat, but he cannot engage because the turn is, you know, we can't go into turn radius. That, that's a, it's a pretty, it's a bad idea going to the turn radius. Now, Data, what do you think about the last team that just happened? That's engagement. That last engagement there was very, very crucial. Oh, it's the root. Flip your owner, flip your slow in the root for the rhyme. Oh, and that's it. Is that a alpha? old alpha barely survives. She barely gets away and Vox gets the kill on the rhyme. Oh, man. That that was a interesting team fight. That should that could have went into Team Esports way, but but oh the slow that slow oh crap oh no uh okay they're backing off for like for right now. That last team fight. What do you think about the last team fight that's happened now this engagement? How could it have went better? It could have gone way way better if the I did not engage into it. He should have known that if he picked Ryan, Ryan has no mobility to start off with, and going for a turn down although he. Not. So for both teams are being a little bit passive. The flicker front just poke damage. Arden for the blood blood on, on the flicker. Flicker to more home. Maybe you no, know, he's baiting. He's baiting really hard. They're going for the one to put damage on the flicker. L the flicker means back away. Go home soon. Uh, baiting's trying to bait still. I assume. Well, maybe just go home this time. Maybe yeah. So for now, both teams are gonna just stick, just stick to their corners and maybe fall on or plan. Uh, oh, Brian going in for poke damage with, with his pillar, but does not hit Brian. They need to find a very good opportunity to engage. Nemesis needs to find a perfect opportunity to engage. To turn this team fight around, although it's still very early game, but late game is actually going to play a huge part. Uh, on point, lands on Arden. Fuck, you're invisible. He's going in for the, oh, going in for the slow. Oh, they're going to Arden of the box. Oh, no, but that damage, cut that damage coming, the damage coming from, from for Alpha is really good. And that team fight, that engagement, they, they have good engagements, but... That team fights always seem to go towards team, team, East team Minotaur. Whenever the esports tries to tries to engage, uh, and the turn is under halfway health, we'll try to continue to, to put the end of the turn with a back off. We're we'll trying to get get a kill. Alpha's going going for the for the for the 
farm. Ryan going for the old get, gets a stun on, on the box, goes in for the goes for the kill, and that back for the with the kill on the box, which is on point. And now for the well, for the survival move, she better use her ultimate to, to get some damage off going. Oh, that damage was really good. That first health her brain, and that is a dead alpha. And Arden is left. Tell me your thoughts on that last team fight engagement. What do you what do you think to what what it could have been? Engagement could have been going way way. And that box has been taking so much damage. Maybe we would just be able to play a little bit more passive than we should have. And if they were just prepared, they would have won that team fight, even though they were out. Oh, and the Andy Arden using his guard to escape, and it works. Up, oh, and the flicker may have bit off more than he can shoot, and the flicker is destroyed by the box. But will this whole team be end of the Ilya Ace? We will find out soon enough. Uh, but back for the going, oh, back for the going on the box, sticking to him, like one thing to him. Oh, nice, nice trades. Arden, Arden going in, Alpha attacking the Black Feather. Oh, but Black Feather killed the Arden, and now, uh, that was these two fights are really going back and forth right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what Flicker was doing earlier. Flicker was, he looks like he was trying to get away, but I thought he, he thought the gauntlet would go down at the perfect moment, but he just miscalculated. Well, the DC have to figure out figure out different ways to engage smartly. They cannot fight on the on the East Jungle side, but we'll see what happens. Uh, a bunch of minions, a bunch of farm for the box to get. Uh, their their like their turn hasn't been touched, but but Team Esports Team Esports turn has has a little little under half of a shield. Uh, we see what happens so far. Being a little passive right now, not really trying to engage, but with the flicker. Going visible, staying in the lane. Oh, just scouting out, scouting out, seeing where they are. Up, oh, the team flick engages. Uh, uh, Brian with the old, uh, right further with the, 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 the black, black old, most offensive. Goes in for the kill. Oh, and Ryan gets the, the kill on the box. Up, oh, and. Oof, that was a really good, that was a really good kill with the Ryan engaging on the, on the. the right now, they really seem to be going out of that box really hard right now. And now they're going to try to go for turn. And will they get turned? And for a little bit, they got turned. They got destroyed. First turn destroyed of this first turn of this game. They're going to come out Alpha, but in Alpha, just, Alpha just they cannot reboot with time. And she is beated. Now, what you, now tell me, what do you think that team fight, who, 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 who that engagement was? How, what do you think of that engagement? That engagement could have been so, so much better if the Black Feather could have just totally done a little more damage. But also, at the same time, Alpha had gone down first, and the only one to go down into that team fight. She remained a little bit longer in life, and she would have done a little bit more damage, and not used her prime, no, sorry, her B so much, and she probably would have not lost so much health. And as we continue this match, so, so far, the, the goal lead is pretty close, it's always, it's, but yes, the advantage is to, to two team minotaurs, but the goal lead is still pretty close. But, uh, let's see, uh, the, the team fights have, have, have gone, most of them have gone back and forth, but I would, I would have to agree, the team, team esports have had the slight advantage in team fights, would you agree? Yes, esports has had the slight advantage in a couple of team fights, not very so early in the beginning, but now they have tried to make their best to turn around the gold, and they were able to take down the turn, even though their turn wasn't. And with the game, they go, they always go with the wolf and with the flow. The damage, oh, the god, goes up. Oh, the damage being done is ridiculous for right now. Left for taking a little bit of damage. The ultimate goes down by Ryan. Uh, the alpha explosion going off. With the, oh, the the black feather with the kill. Oh, but the Ryan gets Ryan gets to get on box, and the black feather's gonna go. Oh, the black feather down, and that's two v two right now. Alpha is going to do some damage with their with their A, and the art the Arden with the Vanguard to help her escape. And they will escape this team match, but yeah, they seem to be going after that fox extremely hard right now. What are your opinions on on, on that move? Since they have a gauntlet from that Arden, I feel like Flicker needs to buy the contraption sooner than later. She needs to get her team out of there quickly. Except for that Ryan, Ryan can deal with combat, but especially the Black Feather, their Black Feather is going to need to get out of there fast so he doesn't take so much damage himself. Agreed. If that left flicker engages with his with his slow, which is smart. It it makes it makes it where the the fuck cannot move. It cannot get out of the way. So it's into the box and that is working. So as, as as of right now, it's working. So what happens? Make sure you can vision up to keep the just make sure that just make check with that flicker. Like know where he is at all times. And so far, no team fights against him. Don't happen. You're going to try to stay blue passive, and the Ryan might be going to engage flicker. No, but no, but the vision. 
keep pitching the Daniel Jose Cruz right now. He can, he's just right now trying to figure out where to go. And so far, just pass it right now. Just just keeping keeping with each other. That's so, so far. Gonna go for the minor. And are and aren't checking to see if they can steal it. So far, Team Minotaur, Team Esports may have to have this this. Uh, Oh, the Arn oh goes down, gets him. The guard that goes down, the Rosa Crimson goes in. Oh, but the damage by the by the box is really good right now. Oh, the what's going on? So what's going on? Fletcher's taking damage, taking the left touch damage. The oh, the E is oh to save the Black Feather, but the Arn is not it's not really safe right now. They need to oh yes, that Fletcher's O was very crucial in that team fight. That saved two. Wait, they're gonna go back in. They're gonna go back in and engage again. But at low health, the box is almost dead. But they go for the box that Alpha came in with the all oh, the double kill, and that is the ace. That was a very interesting team fight. What do you think about the Flickers move using the ult to escape and then going back in? I feel like none of the ace would have happened if the Flicker was and Flicker and the Black Flicker just backed off since they realized they were low on health. But they decided to go back in, get themselves killed, and give Minotaur the ace for that team fight. Yes, that that move by Flicker was um, what was not smart. He it was smart to use ult to escape, but then go back in. That was not smart at all. That was a very frustrating move by the Flicker. So far, the kills is ninety nine to the uh, team team Minotaur. Yeah, team Minotaur has one one has one has one turret down, and team Esports has two turrets down so far. Not the kills are nine nine straight. And again, the gold lead oh is now is now in huge advantage to to Team Minotaur. And so far, the team fight is just gonna do, do poke damage with his with his a for Ryan. Gonna do poke damage real quick. Not gonna engage just yet. They're gonna then Arden going to flares to make sure they keep track of the flicker where he might be where he might be going. And so far, they've just been going back and forth right now. And no engagement that see so far. Oh, the wait! Oh, what a waste of a, a god! That was a total waste of a god. I just again try to get the flicker in that situation, but that was a blue waste of god. What do you think about that move? That gauntlet would have been a waste, and now if they're gonna really need a gauntlet up until later team fight, that gauntlet's still gonna be down for at least another minute. Well, well, yes, his cooldown did get his ult did get a cooldown this past update. He has no cooldown. Items just yet. So they're going to wait some time before they get another goblin to engage with another team, team, team fight. That was a really bad move for the Arden. And so right now, no team fights have been going on right now. Just mean they've been just being a little passive right, right now. So, but we expect this team are really, really soon. Flicker going with the slow, but on point, on point on the Arden. He will go to the Arden, but all the damage coming out. The Ryan, the Ryan, the Ryan ultimate lands, but the, uh, the Alpha trying to go in the the. Arden is will help right now. The old for the, for the alpha, but the alpha does not manage to get up between them. But she is will stay alive for another team fight. They keep they're not going for the Arden, which is not really smart considering he's a really high health hero. Uh, and then right then goes in with his B. Oh, fucking kill on the box. Very hold on health. This is oh no. And the Arden, the Arden will be will not survive this. And then the uh, the alpha she had does not have a reboot up. So if she dies, that's it. She, and that is the ace, and it goes. To team esports. Yeah, I feel like that fight could have been changed and turned around if they started working a little more as a team and not so much off into their own side. I feel like they're not focusing together enough. They're not getting the plays out that they should. And they could have won that team fight, but they were just not working very well. The fucker being very smart and placing placing mines and. Tribus, Tribus, the least bush. He's being very smart. If they, if they, if they can't outmind the flicker, they are done. They cannot know where he is at all times. If he has mind everywhere, he can check where they are. So that flicker is really, really smart with his vision placement, and I love what he's doing with the vision placement. Yeah, uh, vision is very important in this match. Vision is currently key to anything with dealing with invisible heroes. Oh yes, for sure. Any stealth hero you go against, you need vision. No matter what you're going against, you need vision for any stealth hero, especially the flicker who can do some. He went so far doing damage. And the oh, he goes, oh, goes for the B, the slow, the slow, but Spock gets away. Around with the oh, but it missed. Oh, and the goblin, and he gets get trapped flicker and and but Brian into it. And the team like ensues into the jungle. And the left taking a lot of damage right now. They're on point to escape. The, the flicker may not. Oh, flicker survives. Arden still there. He he needs to. 
figure out a way to get out of the war he made. This may be death for their Arden. And that is death for their Arden. And I have to go to the egg for the kill for Armstrong, brother. And I have to get the kill. And what's with Flicker, brother? Can I find Flicker, brother? Gonna go for the for the Kraken, which Flicker, whether he tries to steal it or not, will, will be seen. But what do you think about that last team fight? The last team fight, like I said before, although they were looking at the team this time, I felt like Nemesis wasn't working strong enough as a team. Although of the past team fights they have had, they were working pretty damn well, but not now, unfortunately. Yes, the, the team in sports has had the advantage for most of these fights, but now, but now, we see Minotaur is coming back, doing the good damage they need to do, and that is a, not, not an ace, but they did a couple flicker, so I will give them a little bit of advantage later on. Now, this, this crowd get pushed will be very, very crucial. Can they end this right now where can Team Esports manage to kill the Kraken and kill, get the, and kill the team so they won't be in? We'll see what happens from here on out. But this could this could very well be end of the game if they can play this right. If they can play this right. Oh, team fight engagement. Oh, the Alpha goes for the Rhymes. The Rhymes right, going for the buff for the, those crazy colors. They keep engaging, engaging really hard. Buff for the ult. Rhyme with the, with the ult stands. Suns Alpha. Alpha going in. Alpha stuns. I said to her, her old guard, I don't think I got it. Oh, they go something goes good to the turn. The Fox is doing good damage from the back line. He grabs the rhyme. Just, uh, rhyme is dead. Oh, no. Rhyme is dead. Oh, oh no. Uh, the rhyme, the Arden trying to go and do Alice, but it did it hit, it never hit nobody. Oh, and the double kill goes to Team Minotaurs. And for the look of it, this might be game. Yeah, if the last can... team fight could have turned out crucially. That would have been the last team fight of this current. Match. Oh. And unfortunately, this will be another win for Team. Wait, that's a lot. This is the first win for Team Minotaur. So first team it team is a 1 1 leap. It's a 1 1 tie in this series. Oh. Man. Oh. So, okay. Team, team Esports had the advantage early to mid. But the late, the late game, it was all Team Minotaur. What do you think about this whole match as a whole? This match could have turned around. That rhyme was a very good pit against the Alpha and the Arctic, but none of it was able to contact so well, unfortunately. Well, now it is a 1-1 one, one lead. It is now tied, and we'll go to this to this next game. Wondering what will they do next? Well, what do you think they're going to do next, next team fight to get to these teams going to do to try to get the upper hand? They're probably going to have to give it all they can and try to work to better as a team, unfortunately, but I don't think that's probably going to happen, unfortunately. Both teams going to try their best and push as hard as they can in order to bring out the lead in this 2-1-1 one, one series tie. Awesome, so we've got one match left. See if we can get Rusandra back in here. Great. So, ready? I'm just gonna throw that out there just in case. And hi stream people! <laughs> now it's blind. Is that how it is? We're all doing a blind? Uh, why would it be blind? Oh, my bad. I thought it was gonna be blind. No, no, because he's asking, but in the rules are it? Oh, gotcha. Uh, can someone check? Because I don't even know.
Alright guys, we're back. We're gonna continue doing it draft. So let me just switch up these teams. There you go. And we'll start. I'm so glad we came to an agreement. <laughs> and let's just start draft. We'll see what happens. And then will they go for the band for the ages for the third time? Or will they go for the grace? And when in Catherine, because those two are the really top end right now, and they go for a Catherine for the first band. How how will team Minotaur respond with their their pick? Will they pick Lance? Will they pick Catherine? We shall see what happens coming up. Eighteen seconds with the and they ban and Catherine. Well, not surprising. Uh, and another Arden. That's the third Arden I've, I've seen this game. And let's see what happens. They pick Arden again for for Captain. And will they? They will go for an edge. Will it be a jungle or lane? We shall see what happens from here. Uh, team Minotaur with the second pick. Let's see where they respond. Let's see what the second pick is. And they will. Is it Lance? Is it Lance? Will be. Will be Lance as captain. And it is a Lance as a captain. That push will be very crucial for, for them. But like, especially, with, especially against Arden, he can manage to push Arden away from them while he's doing his ult to make the with the godly go a little bit left, right, or however position needs to go. How will Team Esports respond with this? The Glaive? It is a Glaive. That is a very smart pick by Team Esports. That Glaive can root out the burn to stun either either get, get out the edges by opposition or he can move that lance away from the edges so he cannot protect him or his teammate. How in the Esports last pick, who will be this last pick? Well, yeah, and, well, it has to be a laner, but who will a laner be? Four seconds? Three seconds? Two? And it will be a lane. Crystal Samuel, interesting choice. That's, that's a, a good pick. My, a good pick because that, that range in his, in his dressing dragon that range, he used that range to the advantage on for there. And now what will be Tim Minotaur's last pick here? Ten seconds. Okay, Eight. um, I have to cancel it for a sec because it's supposed to be blind. Um, oh, it is supposed to be blind. Yeah, supposed to be blind. Okay. Just found out. So I'll wait till they're all back. Then we'll do blind. And we'll go. Great. And we go as a gamble. This is going to be a blind matchup. It's going to be an interesting because for blind, you have to you have to rely more on your team's synergy than someone canceled, but I don't know. Who? Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me ask them because one of them canceled. So. Are my messages going through? Uh, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see. I'm assuming your messages. You don't see don't my messages see in the it. chat? Nope. What? Yeah, I'll send it. I put supposed to be blind, just found out, just asked ahead of you. Third match is blind. You guys ready? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any of your messages pop up uh, so far. What? Alright. It Ooh, might be. Right? I might have to undo the match and restart my game. Because I don't want it to be because of me that this gets messed up. Can you remember who's on Team A and Team B? Clegg yep. Lepexi Ruiz is on Team A. Clegg Lepexi Ruiz. Alright, let me restart. Clegg Lepexi Ruiz. This Clegg, Sandra, and Lep and Lepi were on the first team, and then Cornux, Kyson, and Mago are on the second team on the uh, team B. Okay. So is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You told them. 
that it's private blind. And let's go. Once okay. again, it's going to be a blind match. In a blind match, you have to rely more on your team's synergy and composition than counterpicking. Uh, Dana, what do you think this match will be since this is now a blind match instead of a draft? I feel like Minotaur is just practically drawing us with three swords, which just sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, but man. now this blind match is actually, they can't see each other, unfortunately. They don't know the draft, so it relies more on their teammates, like you said, but not so much. So they have to use all the information they learned about last match and the match before that about Minotaurs, and they need to put that up to their advantage. So far, I'm seeing they're hovering over over Arden and Saw for for Team Esports. Will they, is that we're going to be doing? So specific is to, to pick, but so far they're not picking. Are they going to pick or are they going to just stand there? Pick? <laughs> couch, 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 Idris, Three seconds. Arden, two seconds. Elzo, Saw, Idris. Oh, last minute, Idris for the pick, not Saw. So we have Idris, Arden, and Ozo versus Idris, Lance, and Catherine. Now this Ozo is going to be pro probably with the wild card because because Ozo could be Ozo is a, is a strong pick has really strong sustain he with his aqua bounce he can do really good damage on his really absurd bounce so that will be a wild card for this one but the lance counters Ozo really hard so they the Ozo will have to be careful where he bounces where he engages that lance's Gethian wall can stop Ozo in his track if he is not careful so they must be careful plus with with Catherine's stuns they have double two stuns and that's going to be a problem for t for team esports but. With with Idris and Arden, they better keep it contained. And with Idris is strong, Chakram yes, Chakram is Chakram. Did get near flash update, but it's still really strong, a strong pick, a strong laner or jungler to pick from. And we shall see what happens during this team fight. Yeah, this team fight. Unfold. Match has just started. Thirty seconds into the match, now both teams have not found each other at all yet, and the strategy looks like to be spread out quite very well and various here. We have not seen the captain. Go into the. I don't think we see Minotaur's captain go into enemy jungle a couple times. And now, Arden has seen the captain. They're gonna probably be basically tagging. It's gonna be a captain versus captain fight. And then they'll go out of stun right onto that Arden. But captain walks out with almost nearly a little more than half health right here. Looks like back up to lane. This is Idris versus Idris fight right here. They're going to have some training, some damage. A chocolate is being thrown right there. So I'll now this, this matchup is going to be a CP Idris versus a Web Power Idris. And it won't be one. I give it to the Web Power Idris just because he has the advantage in team, one more team fight just because he gains them while he's really attacking. And he also, his, his cooldowns is reduced, which is basically that he does. So it won't be one. I give the advantage to a, a, a Web Idris. But in a team fight, Web Idris, it's like CP Idris has the advantage because he can use a chocolate to do hit like the whole team with chocolate. And CP damage can be really big, especially in the late game. Yeah, both teams have advanced up, right up into the lane. There goes out the stun, ramps to the Idris, there goes out the impale, misses on everything, Ozo uses his bounces, and there goes out the top one from the Idris, not able to contact into anything, because they Lance just again has pushed them out of space. As, as I said, Lance counters Ozo really hard with a Githian wall. Whether he, when he's in the air, he can immediately knock Ozo from the air with the Githian wall back down to, to the ground. So Ozo has to be very careful where he bounces and how he, he engages. Here comes out, trading some damage right onto their Catherine right there. Catherine's already used her healing class to get out of there. There goes out some Chakrams right onto the Idris. This is an Idris fight, and let's see which one will win. Both teams have gone through respectful positions a little bit. Yeah, yeah the also going to continue the, the farm and continue to gain, gain XP, so he can be fed for, for the later the, the team, team fights. There goes out a couple punches, there goes out a stun right back onto that Arden there. Arden just shoves it all off and trying to bait them a little bit with a couple recalls, unfortunately. But they're not going to fall for it. They've learned a lesson from a couple matches before. Arden being a bit aggressive there on the Idris. Trying to hug him under the turret. There turn. goes out more basic attacks advantage to the captain. The captain is forced to use the bubble. There goes the stun right onto the Arden. And the turret was able to do some damage right onto the... There goes out. Lance comes up as a jungler weapon power and looks like he's not able to do anything about it, unfortunately. Yes, Arden is a bit aggressive towards that Idris. There goes out the MPL, does massive amount of damage because of that we to bubble weapon power blade. And Catherine is still not gone home yet with that amount of health she has. I think she will die and become the first blood. Until now, she has a turn to go home. Healing class comes out. There goes out the sun. The sun way onto the Ozo. Ozo also is forced to use the healing class. And there goes out a little taunting from Sanjo over there. Yeah, that Ozo is going to have a really huge problem in these team fights. With, with the Lens and his Gifting Wall and the Catherine and his stuns, the Ozo has had a really, really advantage here. 
and t- especially in the team fights, he's gonna have a hard time. Hard time. He's gonna have to try try to stick on to the Idris and try to kill the Idris as fast as he can before the Captain of Atlanta can collapse on, upon him and do and do the damage that needs to be done. Well, there's a couple chakras being thrown at each other, and they're going to have the Vanguard right onto that Idris. Here comes up the rest, or here comes up Captain actually all by himself now. There goes the sun right onto the orange. It doesn't even see the opportunity to just throw a chakra at Orange, but he ends up throwing it at the other Idris. So, there it goes. Now, more things that are trading, more damage. Chakra's been throwing out. More chakras have been dealing some damage right onto there. Craig has been taking some turn shots, unfortunately. There goes up more chakras. It's just a chakra fight, unfortunately. This is a huge, huge advantage for the CP. There it goes out for the Impale right there. The Impale does not demand the answer for the Arden. Arden has become first blood for two minutes for it over there. Yes, well, Weapon Power of Jungle Lance it has a huge advantage early with that strong, strong damage from his Impale and his basic attacks. But there goes that oh. Ozu's jumping a little bit, bouncing back and forth like a circus. And Catherine goes, takes Ozu down with that bubble of hers. What do you think about that fight? He said he should not have went in. That bubble is the one thing that screwed him over. If that bubble wasn't there, I'd be fine with that. But that bubble does damage to oh, does legal damage to anyone who hits it, and that those each bounce before damage to him. At the same time, Lance was attacking with the, with his long range basic attack, and that would screw him over in the end. And as far as like that team fight, that engage was really bad by Ozu, and should not have been done by Ozu. So he should stay back and move with his team instead of trying to engage and, and try to get get the kill. And for now, they're sticking to their about the jungle side, trying to get jungle. Um, it looks like Clegg now is trying to advance forward right onto there. Idris, and the Idris just backs up a little bit, takes 210 damage, but now then just practically shrugs it off because he realizes how much damage that Idris can't really do yet in the early game. Yeah, Idris' late game is really weak, whether it be weapon or crystal. His play's way, way, early game is extremely weak. You don't engage with Idris. His late game is weak, weak sun, with Able to land away to the Orden. More chocolate has been thrown oh, out. There goes on the impact. That's massive amount of damage to the Orden. There goes the Gethi more force, and he is forced to use the healing class to keep himself alive. Ozo there yes, does not even realize anything. Uh, I don't know what the Ozo was doing there in that team. But, just, you know, we're going to just... For now, we're going to have to watch Dungeon for the late game. Late games when we're really going to see the Idris do their thing. Their early game is really is not that strong. The late mid late game is where they're really going to shine and do that true damage. I expect to see the Idris to have the advantage in T fights because the Chakram can reach through all the enemies and do that huge crystal damage. But that Idris wide advantage will be won because that weapon damage will be will be crucial. And with, plus, with his perk, he can gain stamina with his mid attack and his. A and his in his beat is old. Gains Kronos Kronos gonna play play. Right up into the lane. It just takes a lot of tons and tons of damage. Kronos up there is pretty low and he's forced to use his healing class to keep himself alive. They're very happy with relying on two healing quests to games. To keep them alive, unfortunately. But here comes up the Lance. Look at there looking for the team engagement. It looks like Lance is going first, misses his impale, and actually or actually it looks like he missed the wrong button over there. No he didn't. He actually is faking out to go recall home. Just buy some time for the Ola. Ola comes out with the bounces. It's just like, there goes up the gauntlet for Nemesis. They're actually going out full on attack, trying to go tear diving a little bit. It's just over there, but take it down by Kronox. Unfortunately, this battle has just took a huge turn. A fan has come out and is forced to actually come out to keep them alive just a little bit longer just to get away. Fortunately, Orden goes down and it's all Ozo by himself. Will he be able to get alive? Yes, he will. But the Lance is actually playing to steal some of their farm right there. It looks like Ozo realizes that he is in his own jungle to get the opportunity there. Tons of damage has been basic attacked right onto the Ozo, and Ozo doesn't even realize that both of them are there. There goes the sun. There goes the impale. Right onto them. Ozo made a terrible move by trying to walk into that tribe bush. Now back up into the lane. Kronos has just taken the first turn for Minotaurs. Minotaurs has been taken down. Minotaurs it just Kronos has been taken down, unfortunately, by their Clegg. Yes, the first the fight engagement that started it all, that fight under their turn was not smart by esports. Fighting under their turn was the worst idea they could do, and that turned the advantage to Team Minotaur, and that's why they they lost one turn, and that's why they are at a disadvantage right now because that one team fight under the turn is what is what they're keeping the that they should not have done that. Should have backed up and waited for their team by opportunity to engage under their turn this early, especially especially this early. You see a top four score there. Looks like about almost about a. 3,000 gold difference from each team right onto there. Kronox is actually the reason 
but they're doing so much damage to win all these team fights there. Here comes out Clegg. Clegg does some damage right into the corner from being pushed right into the turn shot. Fallon has to come out forced to keep Clegg alive. There goes out the stun rail right to a minion, I believe. There goes out the gauntlet to keep uh, Minotaurs to keep them away from their Idris. There goes out Ozone his stun. There goes out the side. He's able to secure the kill onto the Idris. There goes out the impale. There's tons of damage onto the Ozone. Another stun. And there goes out the roll. And the bad. Yes. Team, team, team Minotaur has the huge advantage. With Lance in his perk, he does, he he takes less damage while he's up. His perk allows him to, allows no his B. I mean that perk. His B allows him to take less damage while he's facing an enemy. So he's 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 we can take damage pretty well with that. Plus protection, but weapon damage. He's doing really good damage with his impale. His damage in with melee attacks, and that's and now they're breaking out a fight right into their art and he's pushing to the wall and stun also earlier. But now he's been taken down, unfortunately. Team Minotaur is doing way too much damage to Team Esports. They, just, they have no way to counter back with the, that damage. That damage output is super strong with the Lance and his impaled and melee attacks. Catherine with their stuns. Lance with his, with his stuns to, to the wall in those whoops. This team side so far have been in Team Minotaur's hands. They have been controlling this game from almost the get go. And I suspect that Team Minotaur will come up with the win. But we still see if Team Esports has a chance to come back from this. Looks like Catherine's looking for pick moment to see what's stun. There goes it out right onto that over there. Chocolate's been thrown right onto that minion. Now both teams have all gone into lane on a 3v3 situation. Looks like Nemesis has been seen minute seen by Minotaur. They've been taking a lot of damage, especially that over there. The Fountain has come out with the stun onto that Ard of Ard Vanguard is Idris to keep him alive since that is their carry, and that was does a lot of damage to the team. Yes, Team Minotaur is dishing out way too much damage to surprise right now to Team Esports. There's no way they need to, they need to do something, right, do something whether by decent or something, but they need to do dishing out way too much damage. Taking, taking way too much damage in these team fights. The girl of the Impale able to land onto the artist. Artist, the Pure Love, Pure Love the Gauntlet to keep himself alive. But Minotaur, Kaisen over there has been taking a lot of damage too. There goes the Impale, there goes the Chakram able to secure the kill right onto the Ozone, there goes the double kill onto the Idris once again. And Arden is being calling back home. Just to keep himself alive. Yeah, this comp is just too strong with, with, with all the stuns going on, and then it just chakra going from from in a direction doing huge damage to the team. This comp is really dangerous, and and, and, and honestly, a good captain here would have been probably Finn, because Finn cannot be moved or touched. He can be can be moved by anyone. So while well, the team would have been moved, he can keep the team fight going. So Finn would have been a really strong pick it through this comp, but they did not go for the Finn. They went for the Arden really early. And so far, Team Minotaur has a huge advantage, and I expect them to win this, take this, take this home. I kind of have to agree on you on that one. When you see a team doing such loads and loads of damage to you, what do you do then? Do you buy tier 3 defensive items, or do you spawn back by fighting fire with fire? It's a very hard decision to make up into there. But it's all on to Nemesis and see what they're going to do about it. And Atlantis is definitely doing a lot of damage. He he actually he's a really strong. Uh, he's not used in the jungle often, but when he does, he can do massive damage. His his his, his impale also kind of weapon damage, crystal damage. So the crystal damage, the weapon damage. Looking for really the stun. They're going to stun right onto the origin right there. It looks like a TV three engagement, but it just is up there. Chronic is actually paid to come back. He does come back with the chocolate. Oh, oh, massive okay. amount of damage onto that origin over there, and Odo is forced to vanguard their own edges, Clegg. To keep him alive. There goes the main pill, able to lay on the two main damages, but there goes the stun right on to nobody because Ozo was stopped before. So there goes the stun right into the wall to get the push right there, and Ozo goes down. So it goes out of gauntlet, and I don't think Ordo is unfortunately going to make it out alive. And yes, you know, he this, won't. so far this game has really been one sided. That comp, that Idris, Lance, and Catherine comp is an extremely strong comp. And it's been there and there and the team esports team cannot do anything about those stuns. They cannot get away from the stuns. The impairs is landing. The stuns are landing. It is chocolate is going flying. It is a really one sided fight right now, and I don't think team es team esports has does not cannot pull this through. It's, if they don't do something quick about do something about, about this really fast. Minotaur here has tried to calm things down a little bit, but it's only a thirteen to one lead, almost about a ten thousand gold difference that is a huge huge factor right into there yes the more gold you can accumulate the faster you can build your hero and get the items you need to do the damage they have the gold event right now so they're able to build more item more attack items really fast and that's why they're doing so much damage the vanguard right into clay right there to keep him alive but artist still does take some damage 
from Minotaurs, unfortunately. I think Arjun will be able to go down first in the team face with his due to his low level and his lack of defense. And I found them with the Echo, a very smart pick. Since she got nerfed in last update, her A uses a lot more energy than normal. So they go to the stun, they go to the impel, they go to the rule, and another Gifty and push right into the wall. Arno was able to do exactly 100% nothing in that fight. Gone to Minotaurs once again. I feel like this match is going to be over sooner than said. Unfortunately, there goes out the wall. There goes out the push. Able to push his country away across that wall, too. Also trying to fend off his legs as much as he can. But I don't think he will. No, he won't. He will be able to go down. And Catherine is up there dealing with an injured ball by herself. But she's able to sustain her life up, surprisingly enough. As I was saying, that Catherine Echo was really smart. Her A uses a lot more energy than normally does. So she needs some kind of energy to sustain to keep her in the fight to be able to keep doing her abilities as fast and as quick as possible. And Echo is a really smart one to get a bunch of energy and she can use her ultimate twice in a row if 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 need be. Or she can pop it in Jamber in another team fight. Now yeah, it looks like Trucks has been thrown out into the minions there. There goes the sun right onto the artist. Moon lands able to land an impale. He needs to use this very wisely. There goes up the wall. And he was able to poke Arden a lot. And there goes up the impale plus the silence for the Catherine Bowen and Crucible is being forced out and Vanguard is being forced out on Arden himself. He realizes that he messes it. There goes out the sun right onto the interest. It just been taken low. And yes, it just goes down by the Ozo. Now it looks like the table has been turned. Finally, Nemesis has been taken the two kills for their team. And will they be able to take out another blood? I believe so. No, 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 they can't. Oh, yes, they will. Yes, they will. They were able to get a double kill. I was able to turn the fight around into a 4 to 16 kill. Now, that was an amazing match. The, the Ozo coming in, into the clutch, getting, getting the double kill was extremely well done. I, that was, I honestly, that was an extremely, extremely well team fight with the uh, team, 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 blah, blah, blah. team, team, uh, team, nemesis. team, nemesis, team, nemesis has had, had the advantage really, really early, but then the, the team Minotaur definitely came, came back with the clutch. They also especially came in the clutch for sure within that last, last engagement. Now, both things are time has been ticking and the clock has been kept on going and things has come down to so maybe 15 minute time clock has passed crack has been up for about a whole minute now so kraken is still up and can go for any grab for any team so i don't think they're that psychotic to do anything about it and still the first kraken in that early of the match fortunately here comes another or, or um here comes out the lance, the chakram comes out, it just hides into the captain. There goes out the silence for the whole entire team. Clegg is just dead, unfortunately, due to that laser there. There goes out the gauntlet, the gauntlet comes out, and the Ozo tries to kill the interest, but Arden actually steals the kill from them. And once again, Minotaur was able to bring back the team for the team, and yes, they will. There goes out the ace for the team Minotaur, and they don't even worry about her, and they are hurrying on Kraken right now. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's 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 a safe bet just to go for Kraken. They could push and tr they could try to push it, but it's just a safe bet just to go for Kraken. So that's from from move up by by this team to go for the Kraken. And ugh, just I'm just I'm sorry, but the the advantage just it just goes to Team Minotaur. Their comp is too strong against Team Team Nemesis. Cannot do anything against his comp. They, yes, they had the one team fight engagement that was 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 good, but. Overall, Team Minotaur has the advantage. The comp is way too strong with those stuns and those roots. And it just cut, it just, it just, it's chakra and that's crystal damage. It's just Team Minotaur has the advantage overall. And I believe they may come up with the win for this at the end of this. Looks like some damage has been dealt out into the Arden there. Went to the Idris actually, and the Idris just comes back with a couple of what's a chakra thrown. Now, Ozo is on the wrong side, unfortunately. Now he's going to plan to recall back home to gather with up his teammates now. They go got a couple of players to make sure that they keep them in check. Again, another, another crucial push. They can end it right now if they play this right. They can end this right now if they play it right. There's another crucial push. By, by Team M M Minotaur. Here comes out uh, the Kraken dealing some damage, and there goes out the gauntlet right to the end. The final has been forced to use, and Ozo wasn't able to land a stun, unfortunately, but the more damage has been coming out to each team. There goes out the fight for Minotaurs, and Minotaurs is able to take the kill onto that entrance right there. Now Ozo goes down also, and now it's only to Arden once again. Team Minotaurs has been taking the lead to finish off this game. <sighs> yeah, that comp is way too strong. There's nothing they can do about it. The, the stuns. The, all, all of the damage output was really good, but that Lance has two monocles and attention, though. And that game, 
in that yes game, and that team in Toronto comes out with the win. Team 82 and says one. This series took a 2 1 lead. A very close match, but until the third and final round, unfortunately, they weren't able to pull it off. I was your play by play caster alongside a hyper stain, and we're going to take it back to you, King. Hey guys, what's up? So that's game three. Um, looks like. So which team won two out of three? Mentors. Minotaurs. Is that the first one or team A or team B? Team B you on? Oh, okay, cool. Can you guys even see me in the chat if I say GG? Does it show? Nope. 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 All right. Well, um, can you just remind them to get their screenshots, um, and make sure they enter those. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching for coming to the stream. So team Minotaurs won. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, and if anybody wants to come play some games, um, I might play a little bit. Not on this account, though. Let's go back to NA. Been in EU. Is Ma Mago saying anything, or are you guys done talking? And I can I dissolve the party. I don't see Mago typing anything, so. I can dissolve. Alright, cool. Leave. Thanks, guys, so much, you guys. That was Data Zook and Hypervane casting for me. I really appreciate it. And GG. <laughs> Okay. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye. What up, stream? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this stream. I'm going to just to cut off the YouTube video because it makes it easier. What's up, Quab? So I'll be right back in a second.